Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Oh, this is the wrong screen. Hi, everybody. My name's Cameron, and we're starting off a whole new kind of adventure with Google Chrome. Me, my buddy, and Google Chrome, and BuzzFeed. I am going to play BuzzFeed quizzes instead. BuzzFeed quizzes. BuzzFeed quiz, what fruit am I? And it better be a strawberry! Oh, I also have to change my stream stuff and whatnot. Excuse the delay, I had to switch up everything in the background because I was not prepared for this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. It's a... Uh, now we're just gonna chat for the evening. Just chatting. Buzzfeed quizzes. Which fruit are you? I don't know. That's that's what we'll go with. Just... just chitting. Just chitting. I like that. First playthrough. Yeah, I like that. We'll just keep all the other tags. Welcome to a very special episode of Camera with an X, where today we're going to find what fruit I am. You think- let's have votes. What do we think? What kind of fruit am I? I think I'm a cantaloupe. Nah, just kidding. I'm a strawberry. A garlic. Garlic isn't a fruit. Actually. Garlic is a vegetable, according to Google. Consumption. How about a tomato? Tomatoes are fruit. Avocados are fruit. An avocado? Avocado? Pina colda. Nice. I love these words. What kind of weather do you like? Perfectly blue skies and very hot. I love the rain. I don't really like the rain. Wintry weather? No thanks. Cool but sunny? I love very hot weather. Melon. Ugh. Where in the fruit bowl would I be? I feel like this is a very directed question. Um... I feel like this <laughs> this has sexual connotations to it. If you were a fruit, are you more a top? Are you a center? Are you on the side? Do you do you lay down while you spoon with the rest of the fruit bowl? Or are you a bottom? Somewhere because I don't want to be eaten. Um Listen, I'm at the very top of the fruit bowl. I have to be right front and center for the world to see. No, I don't know what kind of fruit I am yet, and to be fair, I might not even, depending on what fruit I am, I might not even belong in a fruit salad. How introverted are you? I have my ups and downs. Not at all. I'm the life of the party right now, but you don't see me off camera. I'm not shy, and I love people, but I can get exhausted. I can be quite introverted, but only in really big crowds or intimidating situations. That is an honest answer. If there's too many people around, it's a bit much for me. I like that. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Oh, goodness. I just got... I had a little burp. I could taste the quiche. There's a lot of garlic in there. <laughs> a lot of garlic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Excuse me. What's my ideal first date? A fancy meal? Food's good. Just coffee and a walk? Anna doesn't like coffee. Doing something cultural, like going to a museum. That got oddly specific. Doing something active, like ice skating. First date? I went, out, I went into a movie theater, so, uh, I'm gonna go with... Going to see a movie is cultural, I suppose? Depending on what movie? Sure! That's my interpretation! What am I like at parties? What does it seem like? The one hosting and making sure everyone's having a good time. I do like cocktail parties, although they don't happen very often. The one determined to have a good time. I will be the party person that has a good time. There will be no party without the person like this. Uh, the one having a very deep discussion in the corner. Honestly, that's me too. The one who wants to go home. <laughs> that's also me too. I kind of fit all these ones, but uh, I've been wanting to host parties recently, so I'll go with that one. Anna, why? Yeah, Anna, why are you doing that? And I apparently really like the whole fruit bowl thing. <laughs> it's your laugh. Oh, she clipped her own laugh. What? What's my what? What was your answer? My answer for what? The fruit bowl. The fruit bowl? What were you? I'm a total top, ladies and gentlemen, and those who follow between and beyond. No, you're not! Shut up! What's the most important thing for in there, for you and a romantic partner? Oh, obviously being on top of the fruit bowl. <laughs> we have to have chemistry. <laughs> Their sense of humor. They need to have a decent income. Dude, that is shallow. They need to be creative and interesting. I like Anna for her brain. And she's determined. No. She's screaming in the background. We're having quite the discussion right now. She's creative and interesting. Choose a fruit that would go well with you. 
I thought the question was, what fruit am I? You're gonna ask me what my fruit is? It's, it's strawberries. We already determined this. Which is the worst fruit? Oh, I love melons. Grapefruit I had some of the other day was pretty good. Pears are lovely. I guess out of, out of these, I had an aversion to melons for quite a while, but like I haven't had apricots in a while. The apricot jam I have isn't my favorite. So, apricots. Apricots suck because they mostly pits. They're stone fruits. I am a satsuma. I'm an orange. I'm apparently an orange. Let's take a, what the heck is a Satsuma? Farmer's Almanac? Give me the answer. When you hear Satsuma, is your automatic response to say, Kazintight? <laughs> Learn all about this strangely named delicious fruit. My first reaction to Satsuma was, what? Which I guess I could respond by saying, to your health. It's a fancy looking orange. I didn't know what a Satsuma was, I didn't. I also don't really know what a bergamot is, but apparently it's in tea. All right, well, that was cool. I like that. More like this, the ultimate ranking of summer fruits. No, where are more quizzes? 52, 42 fruits ranked from least sexy to the most. That feels like clickbait if I ever saw it. I knew it! Sent the hex code for a tangerine earlier. I was wondering what that was. I was actually meaning to look it up because I didn't know whether or not I was going- I saw the hex code and I was like, do I type this into Google or do I watch it first? Should I? I didn't know whether or not that was a hex code for some like weird stuff. Love how Cameron went on incognito for this. Well, because I have personal details in that. You know, actually, I was going to say I had personal details that I didn't want everybody seeing, but yet my bookmarks bar are still here. So now you know that I have a bunch of tabs and stuff. I guess this really didn't help for anything. Hmm. You should be able to hide that. I should be able to hide that. It doesn't matter. The world knows now. I have folders for Google, Google, school, work, my fraternity, projects, entertainment, reference, DuckDuckGo, which I never use, and stream, and jobs. Hmm. How does the Satsuma rank? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let's just control F. Or do we want to wait till we get to the bottom? Nah. 14! Setsuma! <laughs> Mandarins and tangerines. They're all the same amount of sexiness. I love this. Do I really want to read through all 42? Let's just go with the top 10. I'm gonna go with top 10. That's what I'm gonna go with. I can hide it. Right-click on the bookmarks bar. Nah, don't worry about it. We're too far into it. Now the world knows. I've doxed myself. Let's lean into it. Sexy citrus. The sexiest of citrus. Melons, grapes, pomegranates. Dude, pomegranates are literally all Eros. There is nothing about pomegranate that isn't sexual energy. Grapefruit. And then there's the grapefruit, which comes right after. Have you heard the joke about the grapefruit? Be careful with your grapefruits, kiddos. If you're young and curious, don't use the grapefruit. Grapefruit, oranges, and pomelos. I know what a pomelo is. They're giant freaking grapefruits, like the size of my head. Don't you mean a coconut? No, a pomelo, silly. No. You can't bite into a coconut. You can bite into a pomelo. Jake likes to use a grapefruit on my man. Well, I don't kink shame or anything, but if that's the way that you and your partner swing, more power to you. Often used as a visual metaphor for vaginal health. I guess they're sexy because vaginal health is sexy? Double question mark? Nothing better than a healthy vagina, according to the grapefruits. You heard it here first, folks. Healthy vaginas. Sexy AF. I'm not saying this on stream. Kumquats! Another sexy fruit. Probably by the name alone. Literally has the word cum in it. LMAO. <laughs> Oranges have two ranks. I bet banana's gonna be like number one. Dude. Place your bets. I'm thinking... Dude, strawberries have to be the sexiest. And if strawberries aren't at least in the top 10, then I need to know where on the list the strawberries are. <laughs> Thank, I guess, is attracted to good health. Eat your fruits. Then you'll be sexy and healthy. You know? Avocados! Yes! Wait, I have to go grab my avocado. Ow! Just whacked my leg. Where's my shabakadoo? Where's my shabakadoo? 
This is the mighty Shivakadu. It's not a very big one, but this is the Shivakadu we have. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have this set up for this. Wait, I have to figure out what button it is. I swapped everything around. Look at the Shivakadu. Oh, it's actually not that light. Hold on. Let me put some light on it. Hold on. Let me put some light on this. Let me throw some light on this Shivakadu. Oh my God. Phone, please respond. Phone, please. Observe. This is the Shivakadu. This is my Shivakadu. It's nice. I like that. Nothing better than a nice fray. Shivakadu. Anyway, let's get back to it. Ah! Phallic has an advantage since nobody knows Yon Eno Enoic off the top of their heads and no clue how it's spelled. Enoic? Oh, Eunuch. Haha. Haha. I think I got that. That's a, that's a sexy Shavakado. Shivakadu. Love Shivakadus. Uh, back to the sexy fruit things. Anyway, why is an avocado sexy? That's what I want to know. The further down the list, this list I go, the more I realize that it is much easier to explain why a fruit isn't sexy rather than why it is. My god, I wonder why that might be. Maybe it's because we're not meant to be attracted to fruits. Although, I'm sure there's a subreddit out there for it. I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'm just a simple millennial stuck in the rental market and who loves a good avocado. Technically speaking, I am not a millennial. Technically speaking, I am not a Zoomer. I fall somewhere in between. Yannick rhymes with Sonic. Let's see what that means. I'm gonna look that up on my phone because I'm afraid of any word that Jake puts in chat that I'm not already aware of. Yannick. Nope, I, no, I looked up. Okay, please do not look up the word that was just typed in chat without the C. You've been warned. Oh. It means in the shape of a vagina. That's what it means. It's an adjective, apparently. Now we know. That's what that's what Satsumas are. Or no, no, no. Wait, that was grapefruit. 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 Yannick. I learned a new word today, and so is everybody else. Raspberries. Raspberries are soft and delicate and delicious. I don't know. I don't need to explain myself to you. No, you don't. Blackberries. raspberries and then blackberries the blackberries being sexier need i say more i know that blackberries look like black caviar and maybe also spider's eggs but there's something about them they're raspberries goth girlfriend if fruit had zodiac signs they'd all be scorpio <gasps> i'm a scorpio does that mean i'm anna's goth girlfriend No. anna says no pears oh pears are really crap as an actual fruit and taste like wet sand but they're the thickest of all fruits. All right. I don't think pears are... Oh, actually, actually, hold on. These ones are not that thick. But you ever seen Asian pear? I had some of these at work a month ago. These things are delicious. Look at this. This fruit is delicious. This Asian pear is so, so good. I would recommend it to anybody who's into fruit in general. Gosh. Either Jake's internet is dying or quality got real bad. Same. No. The quality dropping? Oh, the quality dropping. No, the quality's dropping. It's my shitty internet service provider. <laughs> it's Comcast. <laughs> I hate it. The router's right over here. I tried to make it better. It'll pop back up eventually. Or at least we hope so. We're crossing our fingers. It's a fake apple. <laughs> oh. Red currants. Yo! I literally had red currants at the at the store the other day. I didn't realize they were sexy. They're a little, they're a little, they're a little sour now. It's back a little bit better now. Thank you, internet gods. One day, I plan on getting out of the whole Comcast route in general because they suck as a company, they suck as a service provider, and to be fair, they were a pretty good employer, but I was kind of bored, so I'm glad I've moved on. Red currants, this is a long one, as far as I'm concerned, are extremely sexy. Cool. They straight up have little nipples. Children, shield your eyes. It's the holy nipples of the of nature. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my editor, Ramey, just told me they are merely the decorative fruit you put on cakes, and no one actually eats them. Lies, I ate them last week. But to that, I say, surely that means they're so aesthetically pleasing in and of themselves that they can be on a cake without having to add anything to the taste. It only further proves the point of the uh, the writer here. Anyway, they're flippin' delicious, and you're all idiots for ignoring them. All of you. You've been called idiots by the, by the author. So take that into consideration today. 
One day, you're all gonna turn around and take notice of red currants, but it'll be too late because they'll be married to someone way richer and hotter than you living in a big house by the beach. You had your chance and you blew it, Remy. You had it. It's a good thing that they're followed by peaches, though. Peaches are dummy thick. As sexy as the marble statue. Call him David. David the Peach. Peach, apricot, peaches, apricots, plums, and nectarines. Nice. They're all just tiny, tasty asses, aren't they? Yes. Strawberries are number two! Ah! <laughs> I feel accomplished. Oh, wow. Though perfectly harmless and wholesome on their own, if you dip strawberries in chocolate and give them to somebody, it absolutely undeniable that this is the equivalent of simply saying... I want to have sex with you. The moment a strawberry comes in contact with chocolate, the whole atmosphere changes. I don't know how or why this rule came out, uh, came about, but it is now the undeniable truth, part of the cultural zeitgeist. And so we must accept that, despite their weird extendable seeds, strawberries are sexy. Do the cherries win? Tiny tasty asses on the peaches, though. Mmm, tiny tasty asses. Dude, it's 2022. The year of eating asses behind us. We have to learn about eating whatever the strawberry is representative of. All right, drum roll. If it isn't cherries, I... if Because, think about it. If number two is the strawberry because it screams I must have sex with you, then the cherries has to come next because that one's literally just like, just, just cherry, like cherry chap stick or whatever i i don't i don't know it's it's cherries it's gotta be i'd be surprised if it wasn't oh oh my god okay now i'm gonna reveal the sexiest fruit of all based on nothing but my vague opinions drum roll there we go look at that and the winner is it's you guys all the fruits out there you've been the sexiest ones all along just kidding it's cherries Okay, I know I promised you that I would rank all the fruits, and this isn't quite all the fruits, and perhaps you expect something less obvious than cherries as the sexiest fruit. Perhaps you wanted some new, unusual fruit that looked like all your carnal desires. But I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy, but the most obviously sexy fruit is also the most obviously sexy fruit. And we already knew it. Where is the banana on this list, though? 16? Where's the banana? Yes, I know they're very different, but they look similar, and that is what is important here. Uh, yeah, they're phallic, but just because something is phallic doesn't mean it's sexy. Bananas ranked as number 19. I'm actually curious to see what the rest of the list was like. Uh, I might not read through all the descriptions unless it's really out there. Wow, look at all these. Okay. Fingered citron. You got little fingers. Coconuts. Oh, come on, dude. Apples. Figs. Jabuticaba. Jabuticaba? I need someone to pronounce that for me. Jabuticaba. Jabuti. Pronounce. I need someone to pronounce this for me. Jabuticaba. 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 Jabuticaba, ladies and gentlemen. I dare you to eat a banana on stream and tell me it's not sexy. I don't have any bananas, unfortunately. Yeah, Otherwise, I totally would. However, I do have this avocado. However, I'm saving it for breakfast tomorrow. I don't know if that avocado's good. I hope the avocado's good. Quick, Anna, give me something to put in my mouth. I'm looking. We don't have any baby Something food. edible, preferably. Yes, I, I ate all the baby food. You ate all the baby food? I ate all the baby food. I made it a thing at work. I'm gonna buy you more baby food. Jabutica. It looks delicious, but it kind of looks like a, a fungus looking on the trees. Jabutica looks like the one at one scene from The Incredibles. Yo! You're right! With all like the balls on the robot and stuff. Cameron, why? Cameron, why not? Oh! Consumption. Where's my consumption? I need something to eat. I must eat something. Quick! There must be something. What do you want, garlic? What could it be? No, that's extreme. Guess we're sticking with the water for now. I can give you the donut. A rambutan. Yo! What is that thing? I thought you were doing quizzes. Well, we'll go to a quiz after this. I'm too interested in sexy fruits. They're like a fleshy egg and hairy. You want to know what else is like a like a fleshy egg and hairy? No, I don't. A hairy egg with a very, very soft exterior. Yes to the garlic. Out oh, of the garlic. You got to pay extra for that one. 
The best sexy times are the funniest ones. Lychee. I love the way lychee tastes. Consumption. <laughs> Why don't y'all remember to me to hydrate myself more often? Lychee. Mangosteen. I didn't realize this was a real fruit. I saw this fruit in a Pikmin game and literally thought, there's no way that this is real. But it is. And it's called a mangosteen. It looks like it needs hemorrhoid cream. That rhymes, sort of. It's like a, it's adjacent. Garlic for bits. That's not really how this works. <laughs> you did it. Woo! <laughs> What'd you say, Anna? Should I show them how? Show them how? No, wait, Anna, don't! Don't show them. Don't give them an example. Anna, don't do this. I can totally do it. I thought you loved me. Durians. Yeah, they're pretty not sexy. Consumption. Garlic for 500 mid? Yeah, I guess that'll do it. Oh, cool. I don't have to show them. I'm a hoe for bits. I'm a hoe for bits. Let's grab the garlic. Or let's take a piece of the garlic. Let's wait. take a bite of the garlic. No, 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 not the whole bit. You have to eat a Wait, whole. wait, 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 wait. I should get the onion, too. What oh. the hell are you discussing? Just in case. You never know when an onion might become We're relevant. not biting into Let's see. I've, uh, I've got dry yeast. I've got cherries. There's fry sauce in here. I'm finding things to put in my mouth. Cameron, you don't have extreme consumption yet, so... I'm preparing myself. Anyway, I'm back now. Oh, Hi there. Wait, wait, Cam, wait. do not pull a Lycos. Watch me, Lorelei. Watch me. Here's your garlic. Oh my goodness. I have... Anna just peeled me off a of garlic. There were some bits thrown around. So, I'm gonna do this. It's not... It's not the first time... I've not... It's not like I've not eaten garlic. It's not like I haven't eaten garlic before. This isn't the first time I'm eating garlic. I put garlic in everything. Jake's like, I paid 500 bits for this lovely garlic. This is here, here, here. Just so the world knows, this is real garlic. It came from a real clove. Anna, where's the clove? It's on the table. It's okay. It came from a real clove. You're gonna have to believe me on that one. And I am very Italian, so naturally this means I'm really going to enjoy it. Mm. It's not bad. Wow, look at that. Look at all those bits. Wow. <laughs> it's just kind of spicy. It doesn't really have much of a flavor to it. It's just kind of all spice. How would you just swallow it then? Anna's got a really good point there. I just shouldn't, I shouldn't like drag this out like I'm currently doing. Just take the clove, put it in your mouth. You know, supposedly garlic is really good for you. Actually, what is garlic really good for you for? Let's try that. Garlic health benefits. What we got? Can you eat raw garlic? Of course you can. It's spicy. Benefits. It's got a bunch of allicin, a sulfur-containing compound. I'm putting sulfur in my body? Yeah, you do that with a lot of things. Is that why it's so- is that why it's so spicy? It's spicy because of the sulfur? Wow. That's not that bad. You eat my onion. I'm gonna eat the it. onion. Well, the, see, I think the onion's actually more tasty than that. Let's find another quiz. Do not eat the onion. Eat the onion. Make me. I will say, onions are not totally out of the question. I have eat, I have bitten onions What Disney before. princess are you? What Disney princess am I? Disney princess. Princess. You see... I see a bunch of consumptions being thrown around out there. However, you must realize there is another option now. I've increased the barrier on extreme things. If I don't want to eat it... That's where the extreme consumption comes into play. I don't want to eat an onion. I do want to drink water. I do want to sip my cocktails. We have to make it more difficult now. The stakes are higher. How do I send an unconsume? <laughs> Wait, what would that mean then? Oh my god! Well, at the very least, that deserves a bite at least. But we're gonna we're gonna consume that. Oh my god! Do it. Well then. Hello world, my name is Cameron. Um, I'm a hoe for bits and I like to consume. This is an onion. Are you eating that whole thing? 
I'm not eating the whole thing at once. Two bites would be lovely. Mmm. Delicious. Now it's got a bunch of bite marks in it. I have to use that tomorrow. Anna apparently has to use this. And it's unfortunate for her now. Because she is going to have to use an onion that has been bitten into twice by her lovely fiance. It was I, Cameron, the whole time. It was me after all. Oh, goodness. Sorry, Anna, you're down an onion now. Iron Chef host by, host by biting that gross bell pepper. Dude, I love bell peppers. That sounds awesome. Come and smell my breath, Anna. It's a request. Chat made Cameron cry. I'm not cry. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look into my eyes. Do I seem like I'm crying to you? I don't think I'm crying today. I'm not crying. You're crying. You're the one who's sad. <laughs> I love that I can do that now. <laughs> it smells better than my morning breath, apparently. <laughs> She's standing right there. Staring at me with those eyes. I want to try this now. You want to try to eat bright and onion? Yo, Anna, you're done. I'm not going on camera for that. She did it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so what Disney princess am I? Anna did it for free. See? Look at that. She's dedicated. It tastes fine. It does taste fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just don't want to eat it because it, it's spicy. It hurts. Consumption. <laughs> Whoa, I'm sorry. Have we been engaged? We've been engaged, what, two years? Where are all the BuzzFeed quizzes? BuzzFeed quizzes. Two years. We've been engaged for two years. That's correct. BuzzFeed quizzes. I want more quizzes. Oh, the smell of the bur Oh, don't worry about that. Let's just ignore that the burp ever happened. It was a good bunch nonetheless. The Disney characters you choose to save will determine your age. My age? Sure, Andy Golder. I'll take your test. What do we got here? Disney movies are packed with memorable- I don't want the exposition. Which character do you want to save? Dolores. I love Encanto. Which character would I save? Maui. I, I, oh, Kuzka. Mm. Maui got to put Let's a shirt go! on. Let's <laughs> go! Oh, save Moana. Ariel's a bitch. I'll save Moana because Ariel needs to learn to keep her top on! Which character would you like to save? Belle or Pocahontas? I didn't really like Pocahontas. Eh. It was an okay movie. Which character do you want to save? The bird or the carpet? I prefer things that are real. You know? With the magic carpet. Maui can save himself, though. He can. Oh, well. Which character do I want to save? Ursula or Maleficent? My mother loves Maleficent. Your I'm going to go with... Maleficent. I'm going to go with... My mother what? Maleficent? Never mind. Oh, my goodness. I like Maleficent. Which character will I save? Mirabelle. I love Encanto. Which character do you want to save? Hades or Jafar? I'm going to do some wacky, wacky things with you, Hades, and I can't st have those teeth in the way. Jafar must be the one. Maleficent! Carpets are real! Aurora! Not Aurora! Oh. <laughs> I'm so devious for sending away the princesses. I'm gonna go with Zazu, because he's an asshole. Which character will I save? Mufasa or Elsa? I loved Frozen. That was Frozen was good. <laughs> How do we save the god of the dead? We can't save him. Which character wanna save? Tiana or Rapunzel? I've always wanted to go to New Orleans. I'll go with Tiana. No! Which character do you want to save? Cruella de Vil or Gaston? Gaston is an absolute chad. So I'm going to go with Cruella because that movie was pretty good. Save Elsa but not Aurora? I, yeah, look at me. I'm being rather contradictory over here. Simba or Tuk Tuk? Tuk Tuk confused me. I, I didn't see a need for Tuk Tuk. Confused me. Although, I'll, actually, actually, consider. Tuk Tuk got really big and could be used as a vehicle to travel around on. That's utilitous. I'm cool with Tuk Tuk. Jake's angry. Oh my god. Quick, Hakuna Matata. Just, just like... No worries. <laughs> what do I want to save? The stream or my relationship? The stream takes priority right now. <laughs> I will save... Timon. I always wanted to go to New Orleans. Anna says no. <laughs> she doesn't want me to leave her. See? That's what it's all about. 
She loves Rapunzel. She does. She really does. She's got a wonderful. We've been actually Anna and I have been watching the Disney Tangled series, and it's been it's been wonderful. I I actually I really do like the show, although I'm usually not in the mood to watch it. But I love the whole. What was the big? I've got a fire within. And, oh wait, it goes like. How does that go again? I've got the wind in my hair and a fire within as the journey's beginning. Anyway, that's okay. But then it gets to the part where she's just like, with the wind in my hair. And the wind was like, going to the sky and whatnot. It was like, it's good. I like that. I'm Rapunzel, apparently. You're damn right I am. I'm going to say Timon, because I appreciate him more than Pumba. Pumba's a little too dirty. Lumiere or Phil, I don't want this creature in my life. I'd rather light up the way. Which character do you want to say? Merida or Luisa? I love Encanto. <laughs> Which character do you want to say? Flynn Rider or Naveen? I'm gonna go with Flynn in this case. There's a picture on my phone somewhere of my face next to Flynn Rider's of us both doing the smolder, and I, I, I appreciate that picture that was taken. I can't believe that I didn't save Aurora. How can I save Maleficent? Maleficent is a badass, Jake! She's so cool! She's so powerful! I, for one, stand up for the powerful women of this world! Although I'm sure Aurora is very powerful too, but you know, you can't save them all. Also, which one was Aurora again? Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. She was the one who decided to sleep on the job. I don't appreciate that. She literally had 19 lines. She had 19 lines in the whole damn film. She stopped talking at 49 minutes into the film. And finally, which character do you want to save? Bruno or, sorry, you're not allowed to pick anyone other than Bruno. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's a good thing I love Encanto. I love that. <laughs> That's great. Maleficent's cursed. Feely's got hurt, so she cursed the baby. This is true. Watch the live action of, uh, of what? Maleficent or Aurora? Or was Sleeping Beauty? Did I? Was there a. Yes. There was a live action of Sleeping Beauty? Maleficent. Oh, duh. I liked that movie. She was so badass. Maleficent, I mean. Well, I guess I'm saving Bruno. I'm 31 years old. That's a lie. Uh, that's a lie. That's just wrong. That's just, that just ain't right. More quizzes. What else do we have? Oh, Anna, if you haven't watched, you're sad. You'd be a sad person, says Jake. Oh, Anna's definitely watched. Yeah, we haven't watched the sequel. We haven't watched the sequel. We haven't watched, what was it, Mistress of Evil? Yeah. Mistress of Evil? There's a Maleficent 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so now I'm the princess. What princess am I? Uh, Disney princess? Princess? Disney princess quiz? Quiz. Which Disney princess am I? Is it this? Is it that's? I just want that. Mortal enemies with? No, I want to know what Disney princess I am. God, I'm going to go to Google for this. Which Disney princess am I? Buzzfeed. Oh my Disney. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you're not on Oh My Disney, are you? What is Oh My Disney? It's the Disney blog. There's a Disney blog that's gonna tell me what princess I am. Oh, Which Disney princess am I? 1955. What are we watching? 19... The next Disney movie on our list is The Shaggy Dog. Yeah, there's an official thing here? I had no idea. All right, and oh, there's only 11 questions. Interesting. My favorite weekend activity is honest answer without looking at them. My fa my my favorite weekend activity is probably just hanging around, doing things that I want to do, playing some games if I can. That'd be great. Ah, I've got ages until I watch the Maleficent one. This is absolutely true. I guess of these farmers work. It sounds nice. Book anything outside. A walk in the woods. Alone time. Hanging with friends. Put my feet up. I guess alone time. I really do appreciate just those moments where I'm just like. Just hanging, yeah? No, give me friends. I like friends. You're not taking this quiz, I am. I'm a tiger! T-I double good earth! The animal who will lead my inevitable Digger! royal parade. Do they have a panda? They don't have a panda. What's the closest thing to a panda? A raccoon. <laughs> uh, for the 49... <laughs> oh my god. For the 49 cent oh new god! adventure costs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, I can't I believe I spent a, follow, a swallowed 30 minutes. That, that might be my shortest stream of all time. I love that. The most important quality I look for in a prince is... If I had to look for my dream okay, prince... Okay, Cameron, what am I? If I'd had to look for it my dream prince... Smolder. If I would look for my dream prince... Prince, prince. It's a prince in this case. 
Yeah, I would definitely, that. I would definitely go with a sense of security. He's got to have strong arms and a powerful Bullshit. dad bod. What? Nice and fluffy. You're disgusting. So what are our options? Dreaminess. No, you need this. Consumption. Thing. If my dad, if my prince looks like that, I'll consume. Just like Anna. Come here, baby. I'm not a guy. She's not a guy. I'm a ladle. She's a ladle. <laughs> oh my god. You can provide the context on that one. I'm not explaining it. Which of these outfit elements are you most likely to wear? Abe will be, little, little Abe will be my prince. Oh. You gotta have that, gotta make sure you have that dad bod. You're a very comfy individual. Yes, you are. Oh. What would I be most likely to wear? Most likely to? A vest. I think vests are pretty cool. Don't wear glass. I like that idea. Not wearing glass sounds like a good idea. Glass is nice to feel. Glass feels pretty bad. As long as it's not broken. A skirt, says Jake. I've actually never had the opportunity to wear a skirt, although I do have a kilt and I have worn it at least once. It's you plaid. You have worn a skirt. I've Same worn a skirt. you wore my, uh, my bra. I've, according to my fiance, I have indeed worn a skirt. You remember when I brought you my, me on my side. bras out of date? It was like after Polytech. I wore a skirt. Once. Look at that. I totally wouldn't put that past me. You've also worn a pull-out dress. Oh, I, I've worn dresses before. That's no. That's not Six new. Six-inch pumps. Six-inch pumps. That's oh, not no, new no, news. five-inch pumps. Five? Okay, five-inch pumps. Because mine are six-inch pumps. Dude, give me a reason to put on heels. Actually, don't even give me a reason to put on heels. Okay, I'll do it. Heel. Here come the heels. My favorite place that burst into song is my apartment. The car. The car. On the go. Yeah. I sing on the go. I love no, that. No, I sing down the streets of Philly. Lil Can't Abe's dad bod is still top tier. Can confirm. Best cuddle ever. Look at my pumps. And I decided to Those bring my pumps on stream. Heels, actually, Look, like. these are my heels. These are my heels. I put they these on my feet. Tall. Observe. I'm going to put them on my feet. Although I will wait to put my feet up on camera until they're in the shoes. I'm putting them on right now. Attempting to sing for us. I'm putting shoes on backwards that are on the incorrect feet. <laughs> but I'm trying my hardest. My feet have gotten a lot bigger in the past recent years. No, they have. But I'm trying my best just to put these on my feet. Trying my best this over here. Kind of keep it within the high register. I now present to you. Heels on a man's feet. Oh my god. I slipped on my chair. These are my feet. I'm sorry. These are my shoes now. They're beautiful. And they're on me. What's going on, everybody? Wait, wait. Where's my remote? Where's my remote now? Please zoom out. It's time for a performance. Ow. I just got the heel caught on my desk. You haven't worn these in a while. I haven't worn these in a while. Come and join the party, everyone. We're singing our songs and wearing heels. Willy Wonka vibes, is that so? Bursting into song was too well suited for this question. Of course it is. And I'm more than happy to do so. And I know for a fact that I won't be taking these heels off because to be perfectly honest, it's going to be a lot more effort than I really feel like putting in right now. Anyways, it. My favorite hairstyle is a high ponytail. I used to have very long hair. It used to go all the way down to my back. I used to have very long hair. It used to go all the way down to there. But it was incredibly curly, and whoa, what a hurly. I shaved it for my high school play. Perhaps at some point in time, I should make like, uh, like poetry. Poetry sounds like a good idea. Cameron just enjoys alone time so he can cross-dress when Anna is around. Sometimes I cross-dress when Anna is around. Mostly for cosplay purposes. I go with the ponytail in this case. Someday, <laughs> someday I wanna be. Oh, when I get up, someday I wanna be, I wanna be a baker. No, I wanna be, a, I wanna be, a, I wanna be, a, I wanna be, a, be, 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 I wanna be an entertainer. But I'll go with the singer. That makes sense. Ha! Huh, he asks. But then, how can she help zip him up? I ask the neighbor. Duh. Or I use my engineering prowess to come up with a method to pull the zipper up. Not sure how I'm gonna do it. Poetry stream? I don't have a lot of poetry. Do I have poetry? Wait, no, no, no. I do have poetry somewhere. 
Where's my poetry? Oh, I still have that word on my screen for my Google search. I'm gonna have to purge that later. I do have poetry. I don't know what I wrote poetry about, but I bet if I look it up on my phone, I'll have it. Poetry? Oh my God, I do have poetries. Oh, those are long ones. Do I have any short ones? No, seriously? Wow, I don't have any short ones. Eh. Poetry, Sheen. Sure, sure. We just gotta make some poetry. So long as I'm not the only one bringing poetry, it's gotta be a group effort. We all have to share our own poetry. It'll be an open poetry night. Poetry slam, today. No, just kidding. Maybe tomorrow. Quiz, where does plaid live? Is that a thing? I must find that quiz. In one word, my style is... Unique. Why isn't unique an option? Colorful? I got colors. I, I got those colors. I live in a... A very small 600 square foot apartment. So, uh... Apartment. Yikes. It's... <laughs> it's 4 p.m. That means it's time to... What does it mean at 4 p.m.? It's 4 p.m. Time to have my weekly meetings on Mondays. But let's see. 4 p.m. Hit the gym. I don't go to the gym often. Take a stroll. It's too cold outside. Have tea. I freaking love tea. Work on my chess game. No. See what my friends are up to? Nah. Have a snack? I'm not a big snacker. I try not to eat snacks because I don't want to, like, gain more weight and stuff. 4 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right here. Within, in my thoughts and prayers, I have no children. Take a nap, do my chores? I guess I'll, I guess I'll have tea. My favorite color of the following is blue. I'm Ariel. I ain't no fish. I can't even breathe underwater. You're friendly and fun. Oh, oh, this is the reason why. It's not because I can breathe underwater. You're friendly and fun. With curiosity, it will take you on grand adventures. Just be careful not to sign any contracts with an evil sea witch. Well, this is why I don't do deals with octopi or squids. Frankly, the only interaction that I have with squids or octopi on any sort of regular basis is eating fried calamari. Mm. I sacrificed her in the last quiz, and now she comes back to haunt me. Am I going to keep my top on? I don't have to. Oh. It's okay, I have an undershirt on. But you know, it's getting so it's getting so hot in here. I should I should unbutton my This is why I wear two shirts. One cuz I'm cold. The music. Anyway. <laughs> Who's the true canon? <laughs> the unbuttoning, the music combination together. That's what does it. That's what does it. What other quizzes do we have on here? Now I know what Disney princess I am. I'm apparently Ariel. That's good. I like that. I'm fun and fancy free. I'm free willy. That's why I'm close to the fish. What else do we have here? I'm genuinely curious whether you're playing World the same as everyone else. I actually just started playing World today, and I got the I got the thing. I got the puzzle. It was a lucky break, though. Which is plaid? Turns out there are a bunch of different types of plaid. I'll be impressed if you know even five of them. Okay, Sid Robinson, you're on. Trivia! Trivia quiz! I like that idea. And it's on plaid. What's this type of plaid called? It's not Buffalo Check. It's not Houndstooth. It might be Tartan. Oh, it's Gingham. Oh, Pro Profs, school, story, which plaid am I? Which plaid am I? Oh, wow, okay, that's the wrong screen. We'll get there, we'll get there. That'll be the next one. Okay, this is Gingham plaid. For everybody who wants to know, this is Gingham. We are learning about different types of plaids today. Gingham. What about this one? Prince of Wales check, Shepherd check, Tartan, Pink check? Uh, Prince of Wales. No, it's Tartan, I was wrong. Freeway! Oh, this one's Buffalo plaid. This is Buffalo Check. I know that one. That's Buffalo Check Plaid. What's this one called? I. It must be Prince of Wales Check. What? What type of plaid is this? Plaid. This is plaid plaid. You can't get any more plaid than this plaid. This plaid right here? This is, this is the plaid. This is the plaid that you should all be worried about. This is the plaid that takes the plaid away from other peoples and says, This is mine. This is the plaid that appropriates plaids from other countries and cultures. Beware of this plaid. Do not associate with this plaid. What type of plaid is this? Uh, it's a quilt. Uh, Madras? Hey, look at that. That was a guess. Hmm. Hmm. Checks. I feel like this was not a real quiz. This is not real trivia. Thoughts on this one? Shepard. Ayo. 
What about this one? Uh, Tartarsal. A. This one doesn't even have it. This one doesn't even have words at the top. Window pane check. 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 Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. 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 Oh, it's window pane check. What about this one? This is Houndstooth. That's Houndstooth. I know that. I didn't realize that Houndstooth was a type of plaid. Cameron is now a true spermologist. Sure, I'll take it. That's just another certification that I can put on my LinkedIn profile. You can put, you, you can validate me in customer service for that one. This one's kind of similar, but it's different. What's it called? Uh, it is also a type of houndstooth, but I'm gonna call it Blackwatch. Nope, it's Glencheck. Okay. And lastly, what about this one? Uh, oh, let's get the check. <laughs> let's get the check. Ha! Wallowood. No, it's Prince of Wales. All right, I scored better than 51% of other people. That's incredible. You've been around a platter two in a day in your life. Too bad, dear reader. Not bad at all. To clarify, a spermologist collects seeds or trivia. I need to confirm this, because now I'm curious. What is a spermologist? According to definitions.net, spermologist noon, one who treats of or collects seeds. Hey, look at that. It could be any type of seed. Interesting. I've learned something even more new today. I've learned a couple of words today. Feel free to rewind at your own pace to learn some as well. I will not be repeating them. All right, what about, uh, oh, what was this other one? This other quiz. Which plaid am I? Which plaid am I? Which plaid are you? I'm this plaid. Plaid plaid. Legit seeds. Makes the word sense to me. Indeed. Which plaid am I? By Jagrin. Last updated. <laughs> oh my god, so many years ago. Total attempts, 126. There have only been 126 people to take this quiz? I'll be 127! Yes! I collect trivia seeds! I will collect the sperm of plaid so that I can showcase it to the world! Am I using that term correctly? I hope I'm using that term correctly. If you were plaid, which plaid would you be? When under pressure, do I take control of the situation and rise above it? Get a nosebleed, reach for your asthma inhaler, or become quiet and introverted? When under pressure, I take control. Oh wait, do I have to start? Oh, I have to start. Oh, I have to start. There's five questions. All right. And a spermologer corrects trivia. Oh, I see. I'm okay with this. See, this is the thing here. If we can all educate each other about what the words mean, then we can become better speakers of our language of choice. Now, if somebody asks me if I collect seeds, I will undoubtedly say, yes, I'm a spermatologist. Nope, spermologist, not spermatologist. I'm sure that's probably different. Under pressure, I, it's sad to see you go. I'm still here. I take control of the situation. Or rather, I don't do any of these. I don't often get nosebleeds. Isn't Loger, Loger part more trivial, trivia relevant? I suppose so. Spermologer, Spermologer, Lodger, indeed. But equally nothing to do with sperm, indeed. It's just Latin coming back to bite you. Next question. In a group or social setting, am I the shy one? The warrior, the clown, the leader. Do you not see this party hat? The answer is obvious. Am I left-handed? Or right-handed? I'm right-handed. What if I was ambidextrous? Bold. Bold. Oh, I need to go back to the other screen. Whoops, there we go. Ugh. Oh. Seeds are the relevant reproductive elements to, to the point sperm is called a seed. Indeed. But then spermology is the study of seeds. You connect the dots. What is this one? Do I have siblings? I do. If I had a catchphrase, would it be, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Would it be, Neat. I need Rolaids or Holy Cannoli. I think my catchphrase would be Holy Cannoli. If I had to pick from any of these... All right, let's view my results. I'm Sparky. 
What was the what was the premise of this quiz again? Which plat am I? Wait. Is the plaid's a band? Consumption. I'm confused. What the heck does this mean? Well, apparently I'm Sparky. So be it. I am Sparky. I will take that. I am Sparky now. The clown, the imp, the scamp, the cut up of the group. He is always looking for ways to crack jokes. He is a very sharp and he is very sharp and loves singing his singing his tailor-made solos. He wears a retainer and has a slight speech impediment or slip. Even though he is energetic and clever, he cares for his stepbrother. He sings with a joyous bravura and loves to, and loves to perform. He loves to tell stories and relishes every word. Interesting. I don't think they meant plaid the fabric, Anna. Maybe you tricked us. Sparky, sparky, boom, boom. Smoke the dank. Yeah, Anna, you you tricked me. Go up higher on the chat. You'll find another quiz. Oh, I know. I already have that quiz up over here. We've got another one. We've got another quiz. And this one is... Let's find out. Only someone who won't stop talking about Bruno will get a perfect score on this We Don't Talk About Bruno quiz. <laughs> to be fair, I, I really can't stop talking about Bruno. Literally though, the music for that song is so catchy. It's like, we don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. But I'm gonna talk about Bruno. Our wedding day. It was our wedding day. No clouds allowed in the sky. Thunder! Are you telling this story or am I? I'm sorry, me better go on. <laughs> she doesn't know the rest of the words. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. But it was my wedding day. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. Thunder! Are you telling this story or am I? I'm sorry, me vida go on. Bruno says it looks like rain. Why did he tell us? In doing so, he floods my brain. Up with a look at the umbrellas. Married in a hurricane. What a joyous day, but anyway, we don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 we don't talk about Bruno, no. What about Hernando? He makes the spackle. Yes, Hernando makes the spackle. We can talk about anybody, really. I am not gonna stop talking about Bruno. Is this literally just the entire song? Wait, I got... <laughs> it's literally just one of the lyrics to the entire song. Well, I do know most of the words of the song, so... We don't talk about Bruno. Hey, grew to live in. Hey, grew to live in fear. What? What the heck? Ah, uh, grew to live in fear of Bruno muttering and mumbling. I could go. Oh my God! What? Stuttering or stumbling? Muttering and mumbling comes next. Stuttering and stumbling. I can always hear them sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate them with the sound of falling sand. Ch -ch -ch. It's a heavy lift with a gift so humbling. Uh. Always left a villa and the family funding Graffle, Grappling with prophecies you couldn't understand Do you understand a seven foot frame Wrapped so long his back When he calls your name It all fades to black Yeah, he sees your dreams And feasts on your screams We don't talk about Bruno No, no, no We don't talk about Bruno He told me my fish would die the next day Dead he told me I grow a gut, and that just like he said. He said my all my hair would disappear. Now look at my head. Your fate is sealed when your prophecy is read. He told me that the life of my dreams would be promised and someday be mine. He told me that my power would grow like the grapes that thrive on the vine. Oh yeah, Mariano's on his way. He told me that the man of my dreams would be just out of reach. Betrothed to another. It's like I hear him now. Hey, sis. I want not a sound out of you. 
I'm Bruno. Yeah, about that, Bruno. I really need to know about Bruno. Yeah. Give me the truth and the whole truth, Bruno. Isabella, your boyfriend's here. Time for dinner. Seven foot frame, a rat so long. What? Oh, I. Okay, that's fair. All of the above is the next one there. Seven foot frames, a rat so long his back is my wedding day. You told me I'll imagine. Is it literally just. Oh. He's here. Don't talk about Bruno. That's the one where it says don't. You should do the Mariano strut in the red heels. I won't be on camera. Dude. Actually, I don't remember what Mariano strut even was. I have paid attention to the audio, not necessarily the visuals. Why did I talk about Bruno? Not a word about Bruno. I wish I never brought up Bruno. Oh, what? I never should have brought up Bruno. Hey. You failed! You didn't get 100%! I didn't fail. I got a 32 out of 35. That's clearly passing. Fake fan! Wow, nice. You're definitely Fake talking fan. about Bruno. You're an Encanto fan through and through. I am. I love it. And this one's from... This one's from uh, Surface Pressure. Pressure. Oh, I like that one, too. Luis is so strong. She's such a strong one. That was a lovely quiz. Thank you for sharing that with us, dearest. I got to sing. It was fun. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno, though. Except when we want to. My goodness, what other quizzes are possible? By the way, I have, I've been wanting to do a whole, let's do, let's do a bunch of quizzes for like a couple weeks now, but I just hadn't found the reason to. But alas, when a game says that's all there is, well, the game didn't say it. I the said the it. game didn't say that's all there is. That's just what Anna said. Anna said that's all there is. Because there wasn't anything. Because there's anything there. else. Anna actually, what Anna did while I was going through the adventure of New Kind of Adventure I went through was three YouTube videos. All of them ending prematurely. Every single video ending prematurely. <laughs> There's nothing else for that that game. <laughs> okay, what are these other quizzes? I don't know. Uh, what other quizzes are- There are not many- There are very, like, like very specific sections here, like Marvel, or Harry Potter, or K-pop. Let's take a K-pop quiz. I don't listen to a lot of K-pop, but we could. Anna's the kind one here. She's kinder than the game itself. The game wouldn't even tell me that's it. You can you can stop playing now. I think the I game wish it would trying to develop itself. It just didn't know. Actually, I'm, I actually what the next place that you should look. Actually, this is for everybody. If you're curious about a new kind of adventure, just take a look at the community content on Steam. It's a bunch of people be like shit talking the creator because <laughs> they're not they're not doing anything with it. It's actually quite disappointing, but I was I was curious nonetheless, so I went for it. No, oh my good K-pop quizzes I cannot stop hiccuping now i i can taste the onion i think it was the onion making me do this eat nothing but desserts to find out which member of bts my true is my true soulmate oh, not BTS. anna says not bts should we will do bts everyone is obsessed with bts i don't know what bts stands for maybe it stands for bitcoin transaction symphony I don't know. first kind of choose some cake rainbow cake it's like my favorite italian cookie Ugh. Actually, over the weekend, so one of the things that Anna and I did over the weekend was we went to go see Winnie the Pooh the musical, and along the way, <coughs> excuse me, there's this donut shop on the way to New York, and they sell these, they sell these Italian cookie, Italian rainbow cookie cakes, rainbow, or Italian, Italian rainbow cookie, uh, donuts, they were donuts, Italian rainbow cookies, these are my favorite cookies of all time, Look up these, the these are my favorite cookies of all time. They're amazing. Glazed. I love them. Uh, glazed. Glazed donuts. And this is where we got them. We got, they, they made. That's not it. That's just. Donuts. It's this one. It's this one. This is the donut night over the weekend. This is the donut night over the weekend. It was awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. Wait. This is the donut night over the weekend. And it was absolutely freaking delicious. And it was great. And that quiz seems to be- Nope, wrong corner. Nope, wrong corner. Nope, okay. We're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're back to the food quiz. It's K-pop, so it'll be a bunch of BTS. Is BT- is, is that all there is for K-pop? It's just BT- BTS? I gotta stop hiccuping. Quick, somebody scare me. Roar! Alright, now I'm terrified. Ouch. I'm going to bed. Are you going to bed? Now y'all! Peace out, Girl Scout. Do a couple of more, a couple more quizzes here. Keep things rolling. Next, pick a cupcake. Um, 
None of these sound very appetizing. I'm not a big cupcake guy, to be honest, but I guess I, I had to go with this Fer Ferrer Rocher here. That, that seems pretty good. That sounds lovely. Now cookies. I will go with the e oatmeal raisin. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. They're delicious. What about some chocolates? Chocolates? Peanut, peanut butter cups, chocolate and caramel square, variety chocolates, fancy truffles. I like the idea of fancy truffles because I feel like fancy truffles just like, they look appetizing, but they may not be appetizing. I feel like chocolate fancy truffle, fancy truffles, they don't have to be chocolate, are best served behind a case and never taken out for the customers. Like they look beautiful, but like, I feel like there's no sense in e eating them. They look beautiful. Apparently BTS is very popular with popular and the fans are scary. Well, let's see how scary I, if, if there's a particular member of BTS that is the, the scariest, then I believe I have faith that I may be that one. Truffles, pick some ice cream. Uh, do they have like mint chocolate on here? Oh, that's a, that's a go-to or coffee, coffee or mint chocolate. Now some popsicles. Do they have like the orange, strawberry, watermelon, black cherry, raspberry, black cherry? It sounds delicious. That sounds wonderful. I'm totally going with the black cherry. And now candy. None of these are really speaking to me. I'll, Kit Kats are nice. I, I like Kit Kats. Kit Kats are nice. They're wafery. They got the little chocolate around them. I like the dark chocolate Kit Kats. I'm not a huge fan of milk chocolate, but I do really like a nicely, nice, well-placed dark chocolate candy. And just for fun, pick one more sweet treat. Okay. Boba's awesome. I've been going for boba recently. There's a couple of boba places around where I work, and me and my coworkers are very fond of it. Boba. I'm Jimin. My BTS soul band is Yimin. Jimin? Jimin. Jimin. My grandfather's name is Jimmy. It's close, but no cigar. He has a beautiful soul and will always show you how much he loves me. Jimin, no offense, but I don't really want you to show me how much you love me. You can keep it to yourself for now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jimin. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. XVP, today at 344, we don't talk about Bruno, D-Boss. Today at 346, we what? What, what? What now? We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not talking about Bruno no more. No, 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 no. Are there any other cool quizzes on here? What's a, what's a random thing that I could take a quiz on? What kitchen appliance am I? Kitchen appliance. I want to know if I'm a toaster. Which kitchen appliance are you deep down inside? There we go. No, I'm not an air fryer. Apparently I'm not. Thanks a lot. Cosmisive? Cosmis love? Cosmic love. Cosmic love. A community contributor. In a group project, which role do you usually have? I'm obviously the one who does the most work and gets barely any credit for it. I make it look good. I do that. I streamline. I do that. I give the conclusion. I do that. I do whatever task is assigned to me. I motivate the group. I'm, I'm not able to motivate a group very well. I lead the debate. I, I make it look pretty good. I contribute a lot to the conversation and the discussion, and then I go through it at the end and just like, ah, make it look pretty. I like to call it my Zamboni effect. I go through the entire report and I correct all the mistakes and I make it sound good. What's my biggest weakness? I'm easily impressionable. I am, but I wouldn't call that a weakness. I have a hard time saying no. Again, wouldn't call that a weakness. It helps me open up doors that I didn't even know were there. I'm too hot-headed. I have an attitude and an anger problem, but I kind of have a handle on it now. I don't open up easily. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't open up very easily. I have a hard time relaxing. I've been getting better on that. Things always have to go my way. I am not a control freak like that. I'm gonna go with that I don't have to open up easily. That one, that one's a little weird. Time for a snack. Which food speaks to me? Sushi. I love sushi. Your friend is upset and calls you. What do you do? You don't feel comfortable with emotions, but you listen. Try to cheer them up and make them look on the bright side. That's what I try to do. Although it doesn't always work. Suggest meditation or self-help book. If I haven't read the book myself, I wouldn't be recognizing it to any, uh, uh, recommending it to anybody. Mostly because I want to read it first, but I'm not a big bookworm. Just get just as upset and rant with them. No. Give them strategic advice. Offer them to sleep on your couch and cook them dinner. 
you can come over for dinner, but if somebody's coming over to my place, like, we're ordering pizza. We're ordering out. I'm not making anything. Sushi Mac approves this honesty. Love sushi and mac and cheese. I miss the chicory. Chicory was a great game. I love that game. Go go play chicory. Everyone go play chicory. It's a good game. You can draw on things. You can draw whatever you want on things. Anything. Consumption. Excellent day. <laughs> Excuse me. I think the onion and garlic are finally coming to haunt me. Like I have not stopped. I have not stopped hiccuping. And I don't know how long this has been going on for. But it's been going on for quite a hot minute. Your friend is upset and calls you. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, I already did that. Um, I try to cheer them up. Look at the bright side. Positivity is key, I think. Pick an aesthetic that resonates with you. All right, so I don't travel too much, but I like the heat. I see books, and I don't really vibe with books. I don't really, I don't really read books very much. I like the water, but not really. Ah, oh, I grew up in the concert scene. Oh, mountains are beautiful. I'm going with the mountains. The ghost of strong foods past. The garlic and the onion are coming back to haunt me. Time to pick a new hobby. <laughs> I love this. Learning a new language, pick kickboxing, solo sports like swimming, running or CrossFit, reading. So I saw this thing on TikTok. Yeah, so I saw these people streaming on TikTok. Lastly, how would I describe my style? I I'd like to take a moment to remember that we're attempting to figure out what kitchen appliance I am. These questions apparently have sway. I would des describe myself as like sleek, functional and expensive, sporty, trendy, preppy and scandy. Scandy? I don't know what that term means. What does scandy mean? Define scandy. Short for Scandinavian. I wouldn't consider my style very Scandinavian. Minimalistic and chic. Laid back and cozy. They don't have like formal. I try to go like I try to go formal sometimes. Although sometimes it's a little more expressive. I like graphic tees, although I don't have too many of them. I'm gonna go with laid back and cozy. Nah, that doesn't really work. I'd be wearing like sweatpants or something. I'll go minimalistic. This does feel relevant to say washing machines. It does. It does. I'm a fr <laughs> I'm a freezer. I'm truly resilient. People often underestimate you, me as they can see past your calm surface. I'm a hard worker who makes sure everything is always in order. Even though you seem cold and it's hard to get to know you, you're loving and protective of your loved ones. Remember, when times get too hard, it's often helpful to let go and defrost for a while. Oftentimes, this even brings out hidden treasures. I like the heat, huh? Right? I do like the heat, or at least I thought I did. I thought I liked the heat a lot more than I thought I did. But then again, I didn't click the heat option. I clicked the mountains, and the mountains look pretty damn cold. That makes sense to me. Oh my goodness. It is getting rather late over here. How about... How about two more? Oh, two more quizzes. I like that idea. What kind of pizza am I? Wait, what kind of soup? Soup! I love soup! I like soup. I personally vibe with soup. The pros of being the freezer is that I provide the ice cream and most meals. Honestly, you know, I'm basically the livelihood of modern society. Like, TV dinners are a thing, and you'd usually keep them in the freezer, right? Until, you, until you're ready to heat them up. But then again, like, technically, what's more helpful in this case, the freezer or the microwave? Honestly, I think it is the freezer, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to preserve the food for so long. The cons are all the chill dude puns, though. You know, the last time I went to my physical, I asked my doctor why I was so cold all the time. You know what my doctor said to me? She was like, science hasn't really gotten to a point where we can con like succinctly say why you're cold, so I'm just gonna say you're a cool dude. And I was like, ha, thanks bro, appreciate that, but I'm still freezing. I have a heater right next to me and I'm still cold. It's unfortunate. Let's find out what kind of soup I am. I'm curious. Pick a job. I'm an engineer. I'll go with student graphic design. Oh, actually, you know what? If I had picked one of these, I'd go with the graphic designer. I love doing my thumbnails. What do I do on the weekends? I watch Netflix. I don't play sports. I see my friends if I can, but not all the time. Hang with my pets. I don't have pets. I have my plants, though, but I don't really hang with them. I guess I'd go Netflix if I had to pick between these options. What's my What was my favorite subject in school? It was science. That was my favorite subject, but drama club is an option. Hmm... If it's a subject, though, I would go with science. 
Science and science and mathematics. I love that. Choose an animal. Bears, because they're close to pandas. What do you want for your birthday? I don't need money. I make money by going to my job. A trip overseas? That'd be pretty cool, but then I'd have to take off work. My birthday's probably going to fall on a weekday. Party with my besties? I like having close friends around. Nothing? I want to party with my besties. I'm fine with that. I'd be chicken noodle soup, apparently. Quiz is cheating. <laughs> my goodness. Chicken noodle soup. Caring. Warm. Nurturing. You're the mother of your friend group. You love to bake cookies for your friends and are a great problem solver. You also give excellent advice. What part of that quiz implied that I like to bake cookies? I like to eat the cookies. I'm not very good at baking them. But like... Hmm. I'm down with that. I like chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup sound good. I like the soup. I like the soup. What other ones? Please stop mentioning bears. Pumpkin gross. Tomato soup. I hate tomato soup. The description is very inaccurate. The only correct part was that I have a bug friend group. A bug? Oh, probably big. Big friend group. What other quizzes? Uh, hmm. Lycos would say that's close, but no cigar. Close! No cigar. It wouldn't be. Believe it or not, everyone has a pasta dish that matches their personality. Believe it or not. I'm gonna pick my favorite foods, and I want this Buzzfeed to tell me what my career path is now. I'm gonna be that last one. This will be my last one for the e for the evening. We're gonna keep things short and sweet. Uh, I want to see if Buzzfeed, this quiz cute lol, will direct me towards the area of the entertainer. I know it's my true calling, but maybe engineering is. Who knows? How many questions are there anyway? I literally can't tell. Everyone likes food, right? Pick an ice cream flavor. Oh yeah, this is this is not new. Mint chocolate. Bug friend could just be the Hollow Knight community. It very well could be. We have been doing a lot of Hollow Knight recently. And we'll be doing so again next week. Mint chocolate chip. Pick my cake flavor. I didn't realize banana cake was a, th was a thing, but that sounds lovely. I'm totally going with banana cake. Favorite chocolate? Uh. Dark. I like the darkest chocolate. Mint chocolate's pretty damn good, but dark chocolate really takes the cake, I think. Pick my favorite pizza. Honestly, I love all these. I'm gonna have to go with the mushroom. Now, now, usually, usually, I feel like I would err towards the Hawaiian because the Hawaiian pizza would piss so many people off, but I think it's pretty damn good. But I'm gonna go with the mushroom this time because uh, acquired tastes, I suppose. I'm down with it. I like mushrooms on pizza. I like mushrooms on anything, but I suppose they're kind of acquired. My favorite cookies would be the oatmeal raisin cookies. I love how I'm basically answering the same questions over and over again, but somehow there are different areas of my life determined by those. Interesting. Pick my fave milkshake. Strawberry. Dude, I remember growing up, we had, we always had some sort of syrup in the house, like chocolate syrup or caramel syrup or chocolate, uh, strawberry syrup. I loved, I loved, 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 loved using the Hershey's strawberry syrup in the milk. That flavor to me was unlike anything else in the world. And to this day, that's why I really, really love strawberries. One of the reasons I really, really love strawberries is because I loved the, stra the Hershey's strawberry syrup because of the strawberry milk that I would make with it. So good. And I also love strawberry smoothies and milkshakes for the same exact reason. Strawberry jam is a little lost on me, though. I like, I like being able to drink the strawberry. I like that stuff. And eat the strawberry, naturally. Favorite donut flavor? Dude, gotta love... I love, I love Boston cream, but I'm kind of... Nah, you know what? I just had... When Anna and I went to the donut place over the weekend, I had a donut called the Jersey cream, and I didn't realize that the Jersey cream was different than the Boston cream, but I think the Jersey cream tastes a bit better, but that falls under the cream-filled category, so I'm going to go with that. My favorite pasta... Oh, it would have to be mac and cheese. Look at that. We got both of my favorite foods. The taste of nostalgia. I'm getting real nostalgia thinking, nostalgic thinking about all the foods I liked. Apparently, my career path is a nurse. I should be taking care of people. I should be taking your vitals. No. I don't even think I trust myself with that type of medical activity. That feels a bit much. Don't know if I would be able to go down that path, honestly. Not with this kind of career. No, no. Don't think so. In any case... 
I think that's a that's about that's about it. I think I've I think I think I've recovered enough from new kind of adventure and have occupied myself for a good portion of that. To be fair, I've learned a couple of things today. I am apparently Ariel as my Disney princess. I am a freezer. I am a nurse. I am chicken noodle soup. I've discovered a lot of aspects of my personality today. And I'm very happy that we could we could do this together. And I also learned that grapefruits are sexy, avocados are sexy, cherries are sexy, strawberries are sexy, and kumquats are sexy. Because the world needed to know. Hello, nurse. Hello, patients. Hello, caregiver. Caregivers of the world, I respect you. You have a very tough job out there, especially in today's climate. Frozen fish nurse with healing soup. <laughs> I love that. And I took a bit of an onion. I took, a, I took a bite of an onion, and I ate a whole garlic clove. You know what? I would call that progress. I, I wouldn't... That, that wouldn't be anything other than progress in my book. I love it. In any case, if you're... I, I'm curious... I'm, I'm honestly, honestly curious. I know what my results are. What the heck are your results? Take some quizzes. Po throw some quiz throw some quizzes in the Discord server. We should do this more often. We should all take we should all take the quizzes each well, for each other. Or right. actually, I did that one time. I took a, I took a personality quiz for my buddy Glenn, Lycos, and then he took the personality quiz for me, and then we we compared. Yannick is the opposite of phallic. We learned that today. That was one of the things we learned. In any case, thank you everybody. Take some quizzes. Find out more things about yourself. I want I want the world to know more about each other. That's what we want to know. I want the world to learn about each other. We want to learn about each other. So that we can be happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. And no more. The only way that we're going to be able to live with each other and coexist is if we know more about each other. So for that, I thank you all for, for coming on this newer kind of adventure. It was fun. And we've learned so much. And for that, thank you for coming. Hope the days are good ones. And let's hope that nobody slips in snow again. I slipped way too many times over the weekend. And I even slipped on my bike. It's too slippery out there. I need to figure out how I'm getting to work tomorrow. More on that. More updates on Wednesday. Thank you, everybody, so much. Y'all are wonderful. So, to everybody out there, have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, twilight, dawn, or somewhere in between. Peace out, everyone. Bye.